when we design, when we have the architecture of what we want to do, it's very important that we have ways to align what we do and how we think. So this conscious full spectrum approach is very flexible. It holds conversations on many things. It allows us to source our inner power, see the patterns and ask questions to solve problems sustainably. But it also allows us to examine many implementation issues, whether that's fundraising, whether that's integrity, in an aligned manner. Joss, would you like to say something about integrity? Yeah, one of the most critical factors of anything that we engage in is integrity. And most of the time when you hear the word integrity, you think more really of morality than integrity. And that's not what we've created as our distinction of integrity. So we have six points of integrity using this conscious full spectrum model to ena enable people to be able to see integrity as a holistic viewpoint versus piecemeal. So we start with this center part of the circle, which is where you would solve problems. And inside of that part of the circle, the two points of integrity here, one is doing what you say. It's simple, but mostly we don't do it. Doing what you say makes life very, very simple. You say it, then you do it. You say it, then you... I talk to my teenager about this all the time. But it does take the complication out of life. The other point of integrity in this space is to do what you plan. To accomplish. Again, in the work that we do with projects and learning in action, these are two muscles that we really empower people to exercise and build over the course of the United Global Shift process. In the systems piece, right over here, in this piece we have two pieces of integrity as well. This middle circle, one is to inquire into the congruence of your actions with who you say you are. So we look at, is that congruent to my principles? Is that congruent to my creation source? So you're actually looking at the congruence of your actions with your principles and your creation source. That's why it's so important to be able to define or articulate the principles, the pillars of your project, because it allows you to examine and inquire into its congruence. Otherwise, you're just sort of flailing around a lot of the times, and things happen, and you kind of go with, you're like a leaf in the wind when it comes to your project, if you don't have those pillars of mm -hmm. principles to stand with. The other piece here is to be able to speak for what you stand for. Speak for your stand. So we look at and we, we give people the opportunity to practice speaking about their project in a way that sources not only their creation source and principles, but gives the listener a chance to get connected to their own creation source and principles in the process. Then in this final outer circle, which is the space of, of oneness and really that space of interdependence that Monica spoke about earlier, the two points of integrity are, I am the change that I wish to see, which you know is a famous Gandhi quote, and we really do love that quote because it is about being the shift that you wish to see, being the change that you wish to see. So it's not do as I say, not as I do. It's do as I say as who I am. So you are the shift you wish to see. And the other piece is being the shift. So I am not only the change, you are the shift manifesting courage to create what's missing. And this last point is very important. There are studies, I believe, that um, Dean Wu of Mendoza Business School, for example, said when she was asked, what's the single biggest issue in business today? And, and what should we nurture? And she said, you know, some of the studies show that we know what to do, but somehow there's something in us that doesn't have the courage to do it. We are afraid of what the repercussions could be or what will happen. So this point of courage is a space of connecting who I am 
to what I will do. Mm. 